Hi, and welcome back to Anki's PLU flashcard deck. At the end of the first video, titled Getting Started, I explained how Anki's intervals can grow quickly, leaving new users feeling as if they should review cards more often than Anki's schedule allows. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work around that by configuring Anki for slower interval growth, reviewing cards outside of Anki's schedule, and how to reschedule cards to be seen earlier. A few configuration parameters can be changed so intervals won't grow as fast. To do this, go into the PLU codes deck and click the Options button. Here, we will configure the settings for new cards, reviews, and lapses. New cards enter what Anki calls a learning mode, where they are shown in steps. Cards exit learning mode on the last step, becoming a normal review card. We can add more steps to get more reviews of new cards. I like to use the values shown here. These intervals are similar to those used by the Pimsleur method, a language learning method. The next option we'll change is the Easy Interval. When the Easy button is used on a card in learning mode, it will immediately graduate that card into a normal review card. That card will be given the interval specified here. I think four days is too much. I like to set this to two days. Finally, Anki calculates intervals using something it calls ease. When cards leave learning mode, intervals begin to grow about 250%. I like to slow that down to the lowest value possible, 100%. The Reviews tab contains items which affect cards after they graduate from learning mode. One item is directly related to how intervals are calculated. It is called the Interval Modifier. Anki provides this so users can adjust how fast intervals grow. The default 100% means no adjustment. I like to set the interval modifier to 10%, which tells Anki to increase the interval at only 10% of what it normally would. However, no matter how low you set this, intervals will still grow by at least one day. I also like to set the maximum interval to 45 days. After solid memories are developed, intervals start growing by months. I don't want to go more than 45 days before I'm challenged to remember a card. If you were learning a language, you could go longer, but remembering a number is a little different. The last tab we'll look at is for forgotten cards, or lapses. There are three options you can set here. When you forget a card during normal reviews, it will enter a relearning mode, which is similar to learning mode. For this, I like to use these steps. They're not as elaborate as the steps in learning mode, but a bit more than the default steps. The next option is called New Interval. When you forget a card and click the Again button, its interval is normally reset to zero, like a new card. I like to set this to 33%. This lets you fail a card to reduce its interval without it being reset all the way back to a new card. Finally, if you fail a card too many times, Anki calls it a leech and suspends it because Anki believes the card is unproductive, a waste of your time. When learning a language, this is a useful feature, but for PLU codes, you need to persevere and memorize each one. Therefore, I like to set this to its highest value, 99, and change the action to tag only. This will allow you to fail the card many times without it disappearing from your reviews. Those changes will slow the growth of intervals, but you're still limited to only once per day reviews. Fortunately, Anki has another feature which allows you to practice cards outside the normal review process. It's called a filtered deck. To create a filtered deck, open the PLU deck as shown and click Tools, Create Filtered Deck. On this screen, you can specify the search criteria to find or filter the cards you wish to review. If you leave it at this default search, it will return all the unsuspended cards in your deck. You can also choose the order in which cards will be shown to you. For now, just use random. In the next video, I'll show you how to do more advanced things here. It's important to uncheck the box saying Reschedule Cards. If you let it reschedule your cards, they'll move further into the future, and you'll see fewer cards in your normal daily reviews. Click Build, and you'll find yourself in this newly created filtered deck, where you can study the cards it contains. It's important to notice the Rebuild and Empty buttons. 
A filtered deck contains the cards from the original deck. As you study these cards, they are returned back to the original deck. When you want to start over, you can click the Rebuild button. More importantly, if you leave cards in this deck, they won't be seen when they're due to be reviewed in the original deck. Therefore, remember to click Empty when you're done practicing with this deck. This will send any remaining cards back to the PLU deck. Notice how the deck is named Filtered Deck 1. Let's give it a better name. Go back to the decks page and click the down arrow next to the deck, then click Rename. Since this deck contains all the cards in random order and it doesn't update the schedule, let's call it a Cram Deck. That's it. Now you can practice your cards anytime. Just click Rebuild and then Study. But remember, don't forget to click Empty when you're done or the cards remaining in this deck won't be seen in your normally scheduled reviews. The last thing I want to show you is how to reset the schedule. It's better not to do this, but sometimes you may want to start over. To reset the schedule, click Browse, select the PLU deck on the left side, and then type dash is colon suspended in the search field. This will show only the unsuspended cards. The hyphen means not. This literally says not is suspended. Now click Edit Select All, which will select all the cards. You probably remember doing this in the Getting Started video. With all your cards selected, click Edit Reschedule. From here, you can reset the selected cards to New, or you can randomly sprinkle those cards within a range of days. If you're watching this video soon after the Getting Started video, it's a good idea to reset your cards to New so they start with the configuration values we set in this video. Wow! We covered a lot of material. If you made it this far, you're officially a propeller head now. At the beginning of the Getting Started video, I said spaced repetition is proven to be the most efficient way to memorize information. You'll want to find a balance between the techniques described in this video and following Anki's scheduled reviews. The techniques in this video are useful for faster initial learning, but eventually you should turn loose and trust the schedule, which is based upon when the human mind is most likely to forget. Waiting until that moment is how the most reliable memories are created. In the next video, I'm going to show you advanced techniques, including a better way to review more frequently. You'll be a ninja with PLU codes. For now, I hope you enjoy using Anki. You may even be thinking of ways to use it with other topics. It's a great tool which can help you learn anything. In closing, here are a few references.